I have always been so curious of what happens inside a pixie forest. It was one of those days in December where fairies were often sighted in the forest groves, mushroom dwellings, dried leaves, vines, and curlicule ranches. It was a rather cloudy morning when my friends and I decided to set off the beaten path to explore the hidden secrets of the deep, deep jungle. I have heard from folklore that the best times were often after a rain shower and just when the sun is starting to peep through the treetops. It has always been a fascination for me to just explore the wild, untamed life in the woods. Not to mention how to face my fears has always been a challenge in learning from the strength from within. So this beautiful day was the best way to find out what it took me to spin a web around this enchanted kingdom. As I set foot into this sacred space, I first asked the permission of the elementals to welcome and send me their blessings for a peaceful and safe journey ahead. I reckon how I was always taught to give respect to these higher beings for they do have utmost control over their property. Walking briskly, then slowing down, made me aware of the unknown forces in nature. Best of all, what was under my feet. We passed through ant hills, and gazillions of them welcomed me with such glee. Definitely not wanting to be disturbed by humanoids entering their private space. I made sure I respected their space. While walking through the quiet path, I began to feel somewhat apprehensive and insecure of my whereabouts. Negative thoughts would cross my mind every now and then, imagining stories of abduction and maybe someone out there plotting to kidnapped me for ransom. After all, I was in uncharted territory. In between these thoughts, I would hear things falling, snapping, or moving from a distance. And only to realize that beyond all these imaginings were thoughts that made me want to turn back, run, and take shelter from these predators that might be watching me from a distance. But on the other hand, it could just be from some monkeys curious to have humans in their company. There were times when I'd come across toad's tools and take a look closer to see what gnomes, pixies, and leprechauns look like. Then I would look up to the sky and find fairies hanging on the branches of trees with long tresses and beautiful gossamer wings. I soon realized the difference between the elves from the fairies. Elves are usually thought of as forest creatures, mischievous, or too elegant for humans. They are usually smaller than people, or they are very tall and thin. Fairies are usually thought of as flower or plant devas, and small creatures were called pixies. 
they were assumed to have lived behind waterfalls and water elements. These nymphs were guardians of their kingdom. My fascination for these elementals have not waned since as far back as the days when my playmates from the hinterlands would tell me about local folklore and how they could mess up with humans who cross their paths. Until today, I have never stopped believing like a gullible child. The only difference is that now, I not only dream of the enchanted kingdom, but have learned to illustrate them in real life. And that for now is good enough to make me think that they can be for real. Now, tell me, wouldn't you like to have them as friends?